Hi, this is David Comfort from Democracy Action Network. Here's what's actually wild. Over the past year, electricity prices have skyrocketed, increasing more than twice as fast as inflation. This isn't just a blip, it's a trend that's been building since the pandemic. Ever notice how the cost of living seems to rise faster than our wages? This electricity price surge is a troubling reflection of broader economic patterns, and it's time we dive into why this is happening. What if I told you that the root of our electricity crisis isn't just about the power plants generating the electricity, but rather the very infrastructure that delivers it, those poles and wires you see every day? The cost of maintaining and upgrading this distribution system has ballooned, now accounting for nearly half of utility spending. This is a major shift. Just a few years ago, generation costs were the primary driver of electricity prices. The article highlights that utilities are spending billions more on infrastructure, particularly on overhead poles and transformers, which are crucial for maintaining a reliable power supply. It raises an eyebrow when you consider that some of these costs are linked to utilities gold-plating their infrastructure, spending excessively knowing consumers will ultimately foot the bill. This feels absurd and unfair, doesn't it? Now, let's connect the dots to climate change. As natural disasters become more frequent and severe, think wildfires and hurricanes, utilities are forced to invest more in disaster recovery and prevention. This means that when a storm hits, it's not just a temporary setback, it leads to long-term increases in our electricity bills. The rising costs of natural disasters are a direct consequence of climate change, yet we're the ones left holding the bag. And here's another twist. The demand for electricity is surging due to the boom in data centers. These centers are consuming vast amounts of power, driving up costs for everyone. It's a classic case of corporate interests pushing the burden onto everyday consumers while the infrastructure struggles to keep pace. Finally, let's not forget the political dimension. The current administration's policies, particularly those that restrict renewable energy growth, are exacerbating the problem. Instead of finding solutions that would lower costs and encourage sustainability, we're seeing decisions that increase headwinds for clean energy expansion. In the end, we're faced with a complex puzzle of rising electricity costs, driven by infrastructure issues, climate change impacts, and policy failures. But understanding these connections is the first step toward advocating for a fairer, more sustainable energy future. Let's keep the conversation going and push for solutions that benefit all of us. Please, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. It would help out a lot. Peace.